Okay, so this is Rock Bottom as a character. They morphed him into a five-year-old child. This character, I've actually recorded multiple times. They're insanely challenging. It's real tough. They start with Rock Bottom, which sounds good on paper, but their stats constantly drain, and I mean fast. So you need to play very fast. From what I could tell from my last runs, the stats can drain really low, like all the way down to 2.5 damage and really low tier rate, as well as your speed just getting shot. So in order to win here, we gotta play pretty essential. There's no time to waste, and we, I think, have to bum rush the uh, boss every single time. Broken Glass is a really good trinket for us to find. So in theory, right, they still work like rock bottom. You know, you can still take Cricket's body and then soy milk, and you won't get a damage down. But you will eventually get a damage down just by the fact that your stats are constantly draining. This has got to be a fat item. Ah, uh, it's pretty good. It's not fat, but I'd say mildly maybe chubby. <laughs> And then we'll fight this uh, Gemini. I, by the way, their name is just straight up the Depressed. <laughs> Alright, down to base damage, we get an HP up, which is mildly disappointing, but not the worst, because I do need HP, right? Nice treasure room start right below us. Very good stuff. Mr. Boom is broken, and I kind of want it, but Virgo is really good. I think it took maybe, like, five years for me to figure out that Virgo is just PhD, by the way. I, I literally never knew this. All the spiders are coming in clutch. Actually, not gonna downplay the mom wig. Why that dude rock bottom always so sad? What do you got to be sad about? He's rock bottom, everyone loves him. Looks like we've hit our minimum for speed, which is 0.7, very rough. But our damage is okay. This boss fight, I really don't want to complete, but it could drop me an anarchist, which is so strong, I have to try. Maybe something good? Aw, oh, well, a key's okay. That lets me go to the shop, hold on. And then we enter the Home Depot, and then the Home Depot sound starts playing, and we get Tear Detonator, which is actually good. Alright, maybe <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> Alright, tier detonator is typically good when you have good tiers. Uh, we have the opposite of that. I don't think we could have worse tiers than current, but you know what? An active item is still useful. Look at that. We got a couple tiers in on that guy. I'm not gonna diss it. It's just, this is just gonna be a hard character. That is, that's all there is to say. But this is honestly perfect. What I've been looking for. A character that plays very, very fast and is very, very challenging. Because we, uh, to be honest with you, we have been doing a lot of min-maxing recently, right? So having a character that, uh, excels at trying to go fast sounds pretty good to me. Maybe I can land a lucky five cents. I highly doubt it, but I don't know. Ah, that sucks. Whatever. Oh, I got another invincibility proc. Hold on. Die? Oh, and a blood ba Oh my lord, thank you. My speed is saved for about 30 seconds from now. Oh, starter deck two? Okay, we're bringing it back. I'll take a d7. Actually, I won't. That would waste time. I don't think I would do that. We'll just use the soul of Bethany and leave. That was a really good arcade, though. The few times I play this character, I straight up died. Those jokes I said in those videos, they're gone. Lost forever. Goodbye. You'll never know what jokes I came up with. <laughs> We're about to release the Matman cut on Lazier Matman channel. Alright, the Wisps was definitely super helpful for us. We will take this luck up, two extra keys. I'm thinking we probably shouldn't do this. Ah, I'm gonna go Angels. I, I need to not spend any health, I think. We can also use our Fool card for a bit of speedrunning strats in case we come across some kind of dead end, right? We can just press Q and speed things along. Time is the name of the game on this character. What about in here? Parissa Toy is broken. This was literally run winning. Alright, I definitely got greedy there. <laughs> My ego will be shot way too hard to admit something like that, but even I can admit, like, what the hell was I thinking in that situation? A complete Bozonia move by your boy. Coming here again. Nice stopwatch! Oh my god, I bombed it incorrectly! God damn it! I'll come back with another bomb. Just kidding, I have another bomb. Hello? I don't know if you guys can understand just how much stress this character has given me so far. I literally can't think straight. Whoa. I don't know why, but those tears look really cool, right? When they got blasted away by farts. God, I love the Binding of Isaac. You could say just the most silly things in this game. What? Hello? Where did you come from? <laughs> I think it had something to do with my wisp disappearing, but whatever the case may be, that was hilarious. <laughs> he really just decided to start living. <laughs> now this blub fight, oh man, you guys should have seen the blub fight that I had, it was terrible. But this one's gonna be way easier. Parisitoid, so destructively good. You go to a supermarket, you look at the shelves, and you see Parisitoid, and that's just an instant buy every single time. We did get a tears up, and it seems as if by the time I am about to go to the next floor, it will literally be drained all the way. 
play. Nothing but pain with this character, but I'm willing to keep going. Red chest moment. Magic skin is an interesting proposition. However, I probably won't. I'm already rocking three. I can't handle more than three broken hearts, my guy. I have too much on my plate. I apologize. Point purse gaming. And we landed a lucky angel. Wow, these are really good cards. Whoa, reverse judgment. Oh my god. All those pills turn into cards because of my starter deck, right? We go angel. Oh, I have two of the best defensive items in the entire game. What do we take here? I feel like Mantle's stronger. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take mantle and then we 100 fight the angel this is kind of what i was hoping for right i wanted to go angel so i get more defensive items because that is what we need there's just no dps item in the world i don't think that can really outlast the drain like i get sacred heart i get homing that's about it the damage does not matter brimstone would matter right but all in all, I think defense is what is going to give us the win here. I probably shouldn't have fought this guy. A couple hits here and there, but honestly could have been handled way worse. I'm pretty happy with how that fight went. Who knows? There's a super secret right here with a beggar and then I... Okay, never mind. We are just going to go down. Sloth fight immediately. Hello, my friend. Your life serves zero purpose. Get out of here. Free curse rooms because of the goat holy mantle. What's in here? A devil dude. Uh, I don't really need that, do I? I? Yeah, I guess I'll take it. Maybe I find an item I don't want. I can void it and get some stats for about five seconds. We are now in the realm of two shotting black flies and three shotting red flies. This is like a certain certified eve with no horror babylon moment this is really rough ow that's okay we can actually get that chest for free though hold on something's cooking Ooh, that's useless i'm expecting some heavy gambling today Ooh, maybe not i could maybe land another blood bag if i'm really trying i got lucky with the virgo prox last time but that is just not happening this time that's okay it may be looking rough but you cannot forget the godly reverse judgment that i have right now is my saving grace these diagonals are absurdly easy because I have about 7 speed. And we get Ghost. Ah, uh, Ghost is good. Here's the thing. Lil Haunt will do things no matter what. But if I take a right item and it's like a stat up, like a Blood of the Martyr, that's technically gone. That item, yeah, like look at that. What do I do? I get hit, I get I get stats, I get a damage up for what, three seconds and then it's gone? I actually think Little Haunt in this very specific scenario is a better item. Which is, I guess, you know what? That's really cool about the character. They're making me think a lot different about how I'm taking my items. Uh, no bomb just yet, huh? Let's fight the Stain. This could be good for us. We could land another Angel. It's low chance, but I mean, the first Angel probably gave us a game winning item, right? I, the Holy Mantle's up there. So if I can land any more, I'd be appreciative. I Just because I did on Sacred Heart with this specific character does not mean I wouldn't want to take it. Okay, well we gotta speed up. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be smart about this. I I am just gonna take that at the end of the floor. Maybe we can apply some strategy here, right? I keep taking the items the moment I find them and then the moment I'm on the next floor, they're useless. So what if we take every single item that is stat based at the end of the floor so that way they're actually applying per floor? Something good? Hey, damage! A 0.03 shot speed up? I've never shot a faster tier in my life! Okay, so we take this small damage up and this small speed up, and maybe we'll have an easier time on this floor. That does mean by the end of the floor, though, I'm still gonna have minimal stats. Death XL, this is maybe arguably good, though? But I think even just having plus one damage is gonna matter so much more, right? With Parasitoid, you know, you're gonna spawn spiders and flies, and they scale off your base damage, so the better it is, is, the more powerful you are. Ooh, might do that. I'm also looking for a place to use my reverse judge. I don't know how a reverse judge would work in real life, but I imagine it would not be good. Got a yellow champion over there speeding along. Did you know they used to actually appear way earlier, like on basement, but they specifically made it so that can't happen anymore? Because people complain that yellow champions are the hardest, and now they only show up after like caves, I think. Long gone are the days of finding a gaper, a yellow champion gaper that just bum rushes you. <laughs> Guys, I think I finally found a use for tooth and nail. For the first time ever, I'm going to use it offensively. Here we go. Boom. Oh my goodness, it's broken. That just chunked Duke of Fly's health. You really thought he had me in a corner. Honestly, that wouldn't be a bad way to play, right? Just full on tooth and nail. It's not too risky because I do have Holy Mantle. Like right there, I just killed that million monstro. Oh boy. I'm sure we'll be fine. You know when you like say something with basically full confidence, but deep down you 100% don't believe yourself and you make that like face where your mouth goes down? I am currently constantaneously doing that. 
I am unsure of how this run will go. I sure hope I beat it. Oh my god, what a dodge. I will, I promise you, I'm really trying to win here, like 100%. This character is just hard. I am straight up Depths XL 2.5 damage. It's not a good situation. I had to do that entire map without an item? I, I just realized. Where's the treasure room? So I'm not the only one that hates brownie with a passion, right? Not the dessert. Desserts are crazy, especially when grandma cooks them. But this guy? Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather grandma doesn't cook you. What? Wait, that's not how that works. No, 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 no. You're supposed to turn into Dangle. Hello? Well, that was very weird. But eh, whatever. Hey, mom transformation. We've seen this kill things maybe once every 30 videos. This may be it's time to shine with tooth and nail and holy mantle, right? Check this out. Boom, boom, boom. Time the tooth and nail. Get hit in the process, but shrug it off and don't even mention it. And maybe no one will really realize. <laughs> okay, perfect. Again, same thing. Worm friend is a really broken item. Blind. Could be an active. Could be a, a passive that's stats only i gotta go left keeper's kin arguably i uh no honestly we're friends so good here we gotta do that you know when i loaded up the binding of isaac today i thought to myself you know what i do this every single day i'm i'm so happy everything is so good why don't i type depressed in the steam workshop page and click on the first thing that shows up <laughs> And then when I saw they started with a rock bottom, I was like, oh, hell yeah, that sounds sick. I was not prepared to try hard in the Binding of Isaac today, but honestly, super welcome. I'm happy this is happening. Empty heart. That is really good, too. We got to take that. Mysterious liquid. Oi, yikes. Would I argue that getting an HP up every single floor is better than Mysterious Liquid? 100%. I think it genuinely is in this situation. Am I going to say that I wouldn't have preferred Mysterious Liquid though? Uh, nah, dude. Like, look at that item. You just, you want it every single time, don't you? What is going on over there? <laughs> I've never seen Chubb do that in my life. <laughs> She just went full on mouth open, no hesitation. I don't know what that was about. Okay, this shop has got to be big. Pandora. What? It's not bad, actually. See, this could give me soul hearts right now, or I could get rid of my tear detonator, which I will, actually. And on a future floor, I will be able to land either a devil or angel item or two items in general in the womb. I'm not using tear detonator anymore. It's just, it's not worth it. It's not doing the thing. You know, it's a great item when you have great tears. There's gotta be an item for me to reroll somewhere, right? This reverse judgment has been patiently waiting in the DMV line for its turn, and it has not received it come on item beggar anything ah uh, devil cards okay flat penny is pretty good but really genuinely just nothing too good uh, oh hello reverse tower i'm just gonna use this and then i think we will go straight to the boss after i blow this up thanks for the tinted rock all right mob fight should be easy enough she may be a final boss but it's kind of easy to fight her especially red mom i think is one of the easiest versions however i feel like red mom also hits me the most <laughs> I don't know, like, in theory, Red Mom is the easiest one. You just stomp and wait for the eyes to shoot, and that's it. But I don't know. I don't know if, like, there's a random computer mega mine behind this NPC that's stomping. But this thing always knows where I'm gonna go. I'm trying to get the knife to do stuff. Oh my god, look at the hitbox manipulation on my part. I'm actually kind of proud there. Let me do it again. Boom. Oh, I got hit for that one. That sucks. But that first one, that was kind of tight, no? A little bit. There you go. Hey, I'm getting good at this. I, I'm learning new skills in Isaac due to this character. Just kidding. I'm trash. Okay, I think we're good, right? One final stomp right now. Good. What? How was my damage? I, I mean, I would say I gotta take a damage up, but it's just gonna diminish. But then again, like, it's still a damage up. It matters. I'm doing it. Angel, please have it. Oi. Okay. Should I fight this guy? What the hell happened to me? Oh my god. God, what kind of demonic being did I turn into? I'm not gonna fight the angel. I'm too freaked out. What the hell am I? Oh, goodbye. Bro got conjoined in real life. Hello? What is this? I got like a black bar censoring me. <laughs> I'm getting bleeped out in the Biting of Isaac. I'd never before have I experienced this. What the hell? <laughs> Should I opt for a Bible on Womb 2 for an insta-kill on Mom's Heart? Ooh. Or should I opt for two items on this floor? You know what? How about we opt for two items on this floor, but we do it at the very end when we're about to leave? That way, whatever items we do get, right, will last us as long as they can. Because when you use Pandora's box on Womb 1, you get two boss items. And, you know, boss items are typically some form of stats up. So we're going to need to maximize that as much as possible. Hey, listen, honestly, if I'm able to beat the run with minimal stats, base damage, base tiers, lower 
than average speed. I don't care if Parissa Toyd and Holy Mantle carried my ass. I'm gonna take credit. I feel good. However, if I fail, I will forever be shunned. <laughs> I gotta have good mapping. Wow, speak of the devil deal. Wow, that's really good. That's absurdly good for us. And this has got to be a good fight. Bloat is honestly one of the fights I would prefer having here. I know that sounds insane, but Bloat is not hard to deal with if you can handle it. All you gotta do is uh, wait for them to jump and then go peekaboo and then go back down. And then that's it. Perfect. Damage up. Perfect. Walk in here. Rosary tears up. We pop Pandora very quickly. More tears up. More damage. This is going to be our best floor. We have to take advantage of this. We have to get good mapping. It is impossible otherwise. I don't know if that's good mapping, but I'm gonna assume it is. Still a reverse judgment. Nowhere to use it. I was considering that angel, but that tears up I really wanted. It's insane the level of power difference it feels like when you just have like one damage up, right? Just that I am not killing things fast, but it already feels like I'm killing things faster than I was about a minute ago. Ooh, this is an interesting concept. Waste my time? Uh, do I want to waste time? Not really, but it's kind of fun, right? Oh, you spawn a skatole, you get to reroll into whatever you want. I'll do it. Plus I can get some bombs like it right now. Could be useful in the future. Oh, Skatol on the left. Do I land it? Boom. There you go. There's one. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> God damn it. This is actually challenging. Every single time I have a glimmer of hope, the game rips it away from me. Every single time I think I'm done, they pull me back in. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna get a roll off and then take whatever it rolls into. Nice. That's good. He knew damn well it wasn't good. Uh, I don't know how that worked, but it looked like Wormfred tried to grab the doppel and didn't. And I simply just walked him back. We got a world card from that. That's really good. That could be Alges, but honestly, Alges makes things way too easy. So we're not going to even uh, try to tempt it. Actually, it could be a Perthrow, huh? Well, I hold on. I'll check. It's a blank rune. Uh, I don't want it. Okay, it lives. This is not going to be a hard fight, I don't think. I genuinely think this fight is easier than Mom. Well, I regret my decision and factual statement immediately because I can no longer say it's factual. <laughs> I just got diffed in the Binding of Isaac. I do kind of miss the original fight for It Lives. It got cheesed in a very specific way, but it was always fun. In Flash Isaac, whenever you fought It Lives, you would specifically try to like get really good at bomb timings. You would place a bomb down, push it over, and the moment she would spawn enemies, you would blow them up and you would just skip a phase. It was like psycho skipping, it was really cool. No hush, very obviously, we will go down. I think I genuinely have the opportunity to do this. I just have to play better. I would have gone right if I didn't use the world card, so I'm glad I did. No one is ever going to dodge brimstone eyes ever in their life. If you ever get hit by that guy and lose like a tainted loss or loss run, don't beat yourself up. They're completely baloney. I, I'll tell you right now, I hate Brimstone Eyes. I have for like the past 10 years. It hasn't changed. Oh, these guys too. These guys, not 10 years because I haven't known them for 10 years. But you know, ever since I did meet them, oh man, just bad vibes from them. Utter distaste. Death card here is super useful. Probably use that in the skit. Never mind, I'm using it here. Most disgusting Binding of Isaac room I've ever seen. And I always say that, but that was actually it. One, two... Three and four. It's good that I get bomb timing here. It's very essential that we skip this first phase of Fallen. Oh, the movement actually? Check it. Oh, just kidding. Also, big credit. Yikes. <laughs> uh, to Stopwatch, right? Stopwatch just doing insane things for us, slowing down the entire game, making it even feasibly possible for me to beat this character. This is going to be the worst phase. Satan third phase still hits me to this day, honestly. Because the random spawn- Ah, damn it, see? The random spawn kamikaze flies always throw me off. Like, that guy spawned at the bottom. I thought to myself, oh, I don't want to go down there anymore. I did a 180, which was so stupid. I walked into a leg. And you never want to walk into a leg. Ah, that's it! That's the thing I hate, but I hate it. I hate it. I hate that about the Satan fight so much. I will always say that. Whenever a kamikaze fly spawns behind Satan's thick ass giant thighs, like he's literally a Greek god, and I can't tell where he is, it's the worst thing ever. We did it. Oh, but man, this is rough. Okay, I I mean, there's nothing I could do, right? We just try. Even saying that I got this far, I'd say commendable for myself, but I do want to win. 
This is gonna be the first time judgment has ever been used. We don't have that much money, but we can get stuff in the future. Tech zero has to be taken here, 100%. It's one of the few items that like, it doesn't matter if my stats are low, it will still do something. That is also one of them. Oh my God, do I, I really want it. I, it's so stupid of me to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Electric items are too fun, dude. Listen, I have mantle, right? So like, in theory, I should be okay. Oh my God. There's one dark one down. You know what? It does feel like my damage is better. Significantly. Is it enough to change my fate? 100% like literally no. What are you talking about? You're actually insane. But I'm gonna give it my all. 100% here. I like that you can tell that the little haunt and the actual haunt have different color sprites. I never knew that. I always thought they were the same thing. But I guess my haunt is just a bit more blue than usual. Can you stop jittering around? Bro is literally tweaking. Oh wow. Double death is not something you want to walk into. Double death slow me down with 0.7 base speed is not good I'm trying to get rid of this death first i need to get the other death off of his horse so he stops slowing me down look how slow i am this is so hard oh it's so other the, the sides ah! it's so over dude the moment death ever spawns ah! oh wow what a challenging character all right well you know what i take that l oh well ggs i love you guys so much dude i really hope you're doing good with whatever you're doing even if it is just slacking off and watching my videos good on you ggs guys